Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. This mod pack by Caitlin is quite long winded but it's great fun too. So the next thing or last thing I was doing was making some tools wasn't it or trying to and I hadn't got enough um, sugar cane for some paper. Well I've been outside and harvested what we've got so now we've got enough of that so let's just make our pickaxe first. So Basically, I've got the components of that and I've got some paper, so I can probably go and craft that paper into some. Let's do that first of all. I don't want a redstone block. We'll need a. Um, we'll come to that in a minute. So, paper, I've got seven. It's going to be six pieces of paper, which is more than enough, I think. Right. Now, part builder. So we need to make a paper binding. I think that uses two pieces of paper. Oh no, only uses one, that's fine. I'll put the paper in here, we can keep that with that. So now we can make our pickaxe on here. And we repair this, oops, wrong one. We can repair this with a Reinforce three. We can repair this with obsidian, that's no big deal. We've got plenty of obsidian. And we can actually put redstone on these things to make them go a bit faster, but I won't do that just yet because I still need a lot of redstone. So let's go back here now and have a look. Ah, oh, this is full as I would expect it to be. And this is full. So we need to find a way to get the stuff out of here before we actually do anything else. So that's what I needed that piece of redstone for because we're going to make a, um, what are we going to make with that? We're going to make a, a node, another node, a transfer node, so we can extract this out into here into a chest. Let's put a chest down, say, I suppose a good place. We're just right in front of it, wouldn't it? I think we can then simply extract it straight into there. Maybe I need to put a double chest down. Let's do that as well, for that matter. Because um, they're going to use a lot of that stuff, so let's get rid of, get some more carbon. We'll need carbon for the, um, what do we need carbon for? For the sterling generator, of course. And this is one for one, so this is the best way to do this, definitely. Yep, that's exactly five stacks of carbon. So, um, let's go upstairs. I'm just wondering if it's throwing stuff out of here, if it's blocking. And maybe we're all right actually because well, if it has thrown stuff out, it's probably de it's probably um, despawned anyway. That's got plenty in there. That's got no power. Is that not pulling from there? That won't be working because this is actually not quite full. I think I'll leave it like that for the time being. Oh, that's an out output. Okay, we'll fix that later on. But first of all, we need to get rid of this stuff so it can be processed. But unfortunately, ah, uh, machine frame for the redstone furnace is taking a long time, as we can see. It's about halfway done. So I'm actually going to tick this off here. If I put in a block of redstone and a a block of iron, let's make go and make a block of. Uh, I've got thirty-two there, but they're already reserved for something else, I think. We can select that one as a second a secondary item. I really do want this to finish because uh, without the redstone furnace we're getting a little bit blocked. So what can we do in the meantime? Let's put some of this stuff, actually let's do it the quick way. I've removed one of these uh, accelerators in here as well so I don't really need it that much. In fact we might as well go and have a look outside and see how things are getting on. I'll keep the node, I'll keep our uh, Obsidian I needed for something, I can't remember what it was now. Let's go down and have a look downstairs as well. 
Oh, how long? How's this thing doing over here? 137. So it's working slowly, but fine. And this has gotten it now 2.49, and it's going up. It's probably going at about a thousand RF per tick because of this connection here. And I've got plenty of carbon. Let's move this carbon into there and try to remember where it is because I'm going to forget. Got three buckets. What else have I got in here? Right, let's have a look at those quests. Always good. And I think the ones we're going to follow, try to follow, is improvements. So we can't do that. We can't do this because we need a draconium block. But we can get that from somewhere else. What does that give us, by the way? Draconium evolution information tablet. Very good. Um, I just pressed the wrong button, didn't I? Didn't want to get rid of that. Another assembly machine. So we need a workbench plus. I think that's what we need the iron for. Let's go and have a check what we need for that one. Workbench plus. See, I've got chest here. That actually, I can get rid of the chest from here because we we've done our two ender chests. That's one thing. And casts. We need. I wanted to do this casting table. I can't do that yet. And upgrades. That was for the other thing. So what I'm I'm keeping these here. And you can't unfortunately go back with the mouse key or the arrow keys. So what I want to do next was the workbench plus. Where is it? There. Ah, so we need three blocks. Oh, shape crafting. Ah, that's what we need the diamonds for. Yes, okay. Well, in fact, in that case, I think this is probably more important to get this up and running. Now, can I do anything else to get the stuff out of it? I could, I was potentially thinking about putting a hopper on here, but I think that won't work. So for the time being, we're going to take the stuff out manually. Oh, we've got one diamond. Great. Not a lot. I've got 64 iron up here. That's good. 64 small coal. In fact, it's going cold, so we're doing moon dirt at the moment. Um, moon dirt, let's try to get rid of all of the moon dirt from there anyway. And put the moon dirt into the system, because that's what we're going to use for oil, I think. I say I think, because I'm not 100% sure. And we'll put the ore into here, so that can start to make some more iron for us. And let's come back here. I really want the moon rock, don't I? So let's get the, any more. We've got moon dirt in here, yes. That'll do. I'll put it in this chest, don't I? Hopefully we don't fill up the system with moon dirt. Put those in there. So one diamond two diamonds so we need a block of diamonds so we need another seven diamonds can we do that how many nanotubes do we have in here 13 that gives me um four diamonds isn't it uh, three yeah four diamonds let's do that so we get those four industrial diamonds and one left over with industrial diamonds you just craft them and you get real diamonds because you need real diamonds for this recipe so we need another three and that's full up again so what I'm going to do now while I'm waiting for that I don't want this to keep blocking like that I'm going to switch this over to get I want this node so I'm going to turn this one off and then turn it back on again hopefully I only used one and turn that off again so we just have one node here with that one node, we should be able to pull the items out of the, in, out of here. So let's just put it on like, oops, get that in the right place. Unfortunately, we can't see it, which is not, I don't like that very much. I wonder. Let's remove that and put it down on like the side here. It'd be better, wouldn't it? We can then see it. And then we can put the chest. Let's just 
We've got some stone in, so it's definitely working. Just move this chest over to the other side like that. And then put a piece of pipe here. Just forgot to put a piece of pipe on the top of that, shouldn't I? Try again. Yes. So that's now filling up with some broken lugs. All great. So we'll give this. Oh, actually, it's going to carry on working. So what else do we need from here that's filled up already? Let's get rid of this coal, coal and stone. And that's filling. And that's emptying that out nicely. Let's put the. Let's decompose that. Actually, we might as well decompose both of these. And then we can go go and fix the. And then we can go and fix the quarry. Get the quarry working properly. Actually, I don't need to do that because there's already enough carbon in there, isn't there? So let's go and do that. It's just it was misconfigured. configure this to pull from this chest oh, push pull pull so that's starting to work again should be filling in this great it's starting to get some moon rock and I've got a feeling this is going to go faster with this 20,000 RF per tick got a um, sterling generator I'm going to just uh, change this side as well don't need to pull from this side, do I? Oops, what am I doing? Right, click that and configure this one. Like that. So it goes really fast, especially with 20,000 RF per tick coming into it. I do like that part of um, Galactic Science 2 where the powers. Yeah. Has all changed its sort of configuration. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's going faster. I'm going to remove this chest because I don't need it here. So I'll put another stack in that because I don't actually will put those two stacks in there. I think it's it might balance itself out. Let's hope so. so let's go and have a look now inside again. Let's see how we're doing on that side because we really want those diamonds. Where am I? Over here we need to be, don't we? So it's about keeping up. But in fact, I think it's doing moon dirt at the moment. It would be, of course sort that out so we're getting plenty of stone what we could of course do in here is to actually put a speed upgrade in here and that'll get it going through or a stack upgrade and I got I didn't I get a stack upgrade as a reward I thought there was a reward for a stack upgrade. I think that was from the. Um, so look if I can see them. Yes, good. Let's put this in, and that will make things go a lot faster. And I don't think we need a stack upgrade on there because it goes fast enough anyway. So now it's taking a stack out at a time. So putting it straight into this just a stack at a time, which is great. What's he doing? Still doing moon dirt, I guess. Yep, yeah, still doing moon dirt. If we remove the moon dirt from it, I really want the moon rock to be in here, don't I? Let's just do it, cheat it a bit. Well, not really cheating, let's just do it that way. Moon dirt. And then we can hopefully get the diamonds faster that way if it keeps doing the eye it keeps doing the ores. As you can see, it's a. Uh, let's do it like that. 
Moon dirt. We're gonna put these. We're gonna put these away. And just hope we get some diamonds in a short while. Uh, some more carbon. Let's let's convert that carbon. It's all a process, isn't it? It's just a. Let's get rid of the moon dirt and the rock. Don't need this. that one. In fact, we'll put those away as well. And the six and the slag and the diamonds. What are we left with? Some ores, broken ores, which are great. We can put those in here. And the advantage of this, of course, you can control shift click things into here so it goes faster. And then they're going to go into the system. We're still waiting for diamonds, aren't we? It hasn't. Yeah, it is doing moon rock. I probably could do with a speed upgrade in here as well. Let's go and see about making a speed upgrade. In fact, there's two recipes and I'm going to use a cheap one because the other one's, I think, a bit too expensive, to be honest with you. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's better. You see all the work. You see all the quarry stuff plus stuff over here. So we want to make... Um, Speed upgrade. And we want this one. You see, I think this is too expensive. Ten, ten blocks of redstone for one speed upgrade compared to four blocks of redstone. I know he wants to get rid of this recipe. And he, I did point it out and he's forgotten about it. So that's, for me, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to take advantage of it while I can. So we want four of these, two gold, actually that's fine, we want a set of nuggets as well, so that's good, and we should be able to do the speed upgrades. So. put one of those and then that should get it going faster so it should actually start to empty out which it is and we've got another diamond which is great and we've got all this iron ore let's take the iron ore out and get that processed as well which one's it doing at the moment broken platinum or three to go so that means as soon as that gets taken out of there the next one will be removed and I can put these 13 iron in which I've got to wait for that ain't gonna take very long I thought it wasn't yeah so it's already doing the iron there we go so it's like that trim along of course it just works away and it just pulls the stuff into the system while we're doing that, let's harvest this lot. I know this is probably not the way that's intended to make cocoa, but to be honest with you, I don't see why not. 60. just vanilla minecraft stuff and I'm not sure you should really get rid of vanilla minecraft stuff from a mod pack but there we are so let's decompose that while we're thinking about it uh, what else have we got in here now well this carbon is fantastic I could actually use this as well because I would need uh, let's have a look 64 and I think we need 12 stacks of that we almost have 12 stacks, don't we, to make one diamond. Let's do that. But of course it is a weeny bit painful. It'd be nice to put another hopper on top of this. In fact, let's go and make another hopper for the top of this. Because then I don't have to stand here all the time feeding the feeding these things in one at, one at a time. 
Let's make a quick hopper. Chest, I have got one chest. And iron ingots. Hopefully we've still got some iron ingots. Can't see it, just type it in. Oops, what did I just press? Here we go, just enough. So I want this to go on the top of that. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. So we can cut. Oh, I don't want that to do that. But you can't disconnect that. That's a pain. All right, let's put the carbon in here and take this to found block it so it doesn't get so it gets blocked to some extent. Because you can't use it in here anyway. What a nuisance. See, this is already full. I suspect in that case it's, it's pushing stuff out of there which we don't want it to do. Let's go and check that as well. I know with the quarry plus it doesn't throw stuff out. Yeah, you see look, it's throwing blocks out. So it's pretty bad when that happens to be honest with you. Because you end up losing resources. Let's go and get those over here. I know these resources aren't desperately expensive, but even so. But I should turn off the quarry first, shouldn't I? And that was only three stacks of carbon, wasn't it? Let's just take this out of here. And this out of here. What have we got in here? Oh, okay. So it's still going to throw stuff at me. This is throwing it at me this time, so I'm catching it. Actually, what we can do, of course, is turn this off. Is that not? Never active. Never active seems to be active. That power's still going down, and the core is still working. Right, now it's stopped, so we just have to wait for this to be emptied a bit. I don't know whether you can put any moon turf into that, so that's like moon dirt. Okay, I'm just going to go around here and pick up the bits. And they go a long way, look at that. That's a big hole, oh, I don't want to go down there. Oh, they all despawn the stuff that was around here, okay. I better go and change my oxygen tank, I've just noticed it's getting a little bit empty. I'll do that first. Let's see how we're doing in here. Oh! Ah! Yeah, this is a bad idea, isn't it? Because it's putting all the stuff into this hopper here. Well, let, the, let it fill it. Oh, I don't want it to fill it, do I? So let's just break the hopper away. Yeah, and I'm, I'm being with all the stuff that I don't want. So moon dirt, moon turf. Let's check that away in T. That's no, not T, let's do it. An R sort of stuff. What have I got in here? Moon dirt, moon dirt, moon dirt. Okay, moon dirt, don't really mind because we can put the moon dirt back in the system for, to be um, processed later on. Yeah, that's better. So I've got a little bit of moon rock here. So it's not going fast enough this, which is a bit of a shame. Because if it could keep up, that would be great. Anyway, what I was trying to do was to make some carbon, wasn't I? I don't think I've got enough yet. 
maybe for one nanotube let's have a look if I remember rightly that the recipe for nanotubes actually if we'll use the book I could take that out so Chris don't need that in there oxygen and hydrogen put those away Let's sort this chest again. Oh, it says quite a process. So now I've got some of those. So let's go and get the book out there. I think I've got nanotubes in here. If I'm not, I can soon scan one in because I've got one in my hand. Yep, nanotubes. So we ended up with two, which gives us actually one more diamond, of course. Another bits in there and put those 54 in there let's get that into there so now we get our three and this time we're going to take a diamond and we're going to put it into here as well but we need the industrial diamond so we'll do that first like that so we'll take an industrial diamond put that into here so we register that recipe and we'll take the book and we'll put it back in here again because I will think probably the fastest way to do this is to do this, isn't it? Get rid of that oxygen, don't need that. Control shift that out, sort that. Yeah, it's getting filled, actually, it's getting filled up with iron, that's amazing, isn't it? It would be good to be able to push this carbon out of here into here but that basically means I think it has to come out the bottom and go in the top but both cases are a bit inconvenient I'm just wondering if I can move this ender chest not I could move it onto this side but then then I could put that pipe but that would then connect to both again which is also just as bad as it was to start with anyway that is not so interesting for you guys so let's go back and see have we actually completed any quests today not that one we basically all need just one i um, i think just one block of iron is there a block one block of diamonds so how many diamonds have we got to do this ah one short Let's hope we get another diamond. Let's make sure that that's oh, doing moon rock, that's good. With a bit of luck, we'll see a diamond come up before it's too late. Uh, in fact, let's just take this out of here. Let's get these going again. Maybe I can do it faster. I don't know which is fastest. Waiting for luck. I'm feeding them in here. They go fairly fast in there, don't they? Whichever's going to win, we're going to do first. Huh. Carbon, more carbon, yep. In fact, that should almost be enough for another. It goes really fast. plus the one three that's the winner I bet you by the time I've done this another one coming to play so I thought you couldn't do that actually no mind so we now have our block our diamond nope it definitely won so let's now go and see if we can make this workbench plus because it's shape crafting so that's not too bad Workbench plus, oh pump plus, uh, work plus is that one? Oh, it's a funny looking one, isn't it? I think onto there. 
I reckon we're short of one block of gold. How much gold have we got in here? Ah, just two ingots. Right, I'll have to get a block of gold going through the system. It shouldn't take us too long. I reckon we've probably got some more gold in the system. Oh, one more copper. Nickel. Gold. I should know where that is, actually. I don't want you going through that. I want you. What I might as well do, I think I might as well convert the rest of this gold into ingots. Let it get on with it. Liquid gold in itself isn't that useful at the moment, it will be later on. So, we then have got a workbench plus. Let's put that down somewhere. Let's put it down, I'm just going to put it down here to start with. I, it does need power. So what I'm where am I going to put it then? Yep, I was waiting for that pickaxe to break. Let's put it down here. Let's come here and press F1. Because that's going to be the screenshot for this episode. Around about there. F1 again. And so we've actually um, got what we need for this episode. That's pretty good. Let's get my pickaxe. Now I can start to use my obsidian pickaxe. It should be better. In fact, I'm going to put that, as it happens, I'm going to put it up here. Because then it's com convenient. So let's have a look. So we've got one quest completed today. Oh, yep, brilliant. Let's actually take it first. Detect. Claim. 10 XP. Done. So that was that one. It hasn't open, opened up any more quests. Which is okay. Let's go put this 10 XP away over here, safely away. So that's it for this episode. A little bit done, not too much, but of course it's fairly slow in this game. So, anyway, until next time, bye for now.